Ivanka Trump's jewelry line was allegedly used to launder money. JQ has found the federal court filing from this summer alleging that a diamond company, which licensed Ivanka Trump's name in exchange for royalties, was used in a $100 million money laundering scheme. Though the subpoena intended to discover purchases made by alleged shell companies for a foreign lawsuit does not implicate Trump, it adds to the cast of shady foreign actors who have allegedly hid their money via companies bearing the Trump name. Moreover it begs the question, why does this keep happening? The Commercial Bank of Dubai has subpoenaed several companies, and it alleges that the Al Saris, a family of well-known Emirati oil traders, owed the bank repayment for a $118 million loan, defaulted on their debt, and hid their money through shell companies which purchased, for instance, diamonds. Red flag number one, some of those may have come from Madison Avenue Diamonds, which at the time operated under the name of Anka Trump Fine Jewelry in a typical Trump name licensing agreement. Red flag two, the Emirati government owns part of the Commercial Bank of Dubai, which was established by royal decree. Meanwhile against the advice of senior officials Donald Trump has supported the United Arab Emirates in its opposition to Qatar, saying that Qatar has historically been a funder of terrorism, and took credit for organizing a blockage by neighbors such as Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, and the United Arab Emirates, to force Qatar citizens to leave and to ban their citizens from entering Qatar. Trump's speech took place on June 10, and the initial documents by the part Emirati-owned Commercial Bank of Dubai were filed on June 29. The blockade has been called a diplomatic crisis. A business connection to the Emirati government, though secondary, is not helpful. Red flag 3, add more creeps to the Trump family cabal. Ivanka Trump started the Ivanka Trump fine jewelry line with Moshe Lax, diamond heir and owner of Madison Avenue Diamonds. Lax is known in the business as a career grifter, 